Baby dedications, christenings, first communions, and baptisms are all monumental moments in your child's life. Why not commemorate these moments with a special celebration for close family and friends? I had the honor of creating a very special dessert table for my niece this weekend to celebrate her de- her dedication. For the colors, I wanted to stay pure and heavenly, so I went with white, which stands for purity and light, silver, which stands for strength and grace, and gold, which stands for power, glory, wisdom, and the presence of God. Now, for the table decor, we kept it very sweet and simple. I went with, you know, shades of white and the rosette tablecloth because it is a girl. And I wanted it really elegant and heavenly looking. Now, for the table decor, as far as the centerpieces, we really kept it simple and sweet. We did incorporate the white table runners and some very beautiful, simple white rose uh, centerpieces with splashes of silver and I have a video here now it was dark in the area so the video is not all that great I do apologize but I did want to give you guys a little bit of footage to just kind of show you how the room went overall I wanted the centerpieces low so there will be you know conversation um, you know room for conversation not really tall and just kind of sweet and simple like the, the celebration for that day and here is the dessert table for um, her baby dedication the cake turned out absolutely exquisite we incorporated lots of crosses and flowers and a C for her first name we had cake pops and cookies and I mean it was absolutely fabulous on the backdrop her middle name is joy so I incorporated joy on the backdrop and on the table as well and you see some small napkins I also showed the napkins in the beginning of the video these were some vintage napkins that her grandmother had kept from the 1980s and I thought they would be just perfect for the baby dedication um, celebration um, my cake baker did an amazing job what is funny is that she had no idea that I was incorporating gold because at first we were just gonna go with silver and white and once I started piecing everything together I realized that it looked very bland so I added the gold and when I call her about 30 minutes after I had made that um, change she had already incorporated gold into the cakes and all the um, sweets and desserts for the table so it was absolutely amazing I also included some angels on the background to match the angels on the napkins and again all the cookies and things like that were in the shape of a cross and I absolutely love the way that it turned out so I'm gonna pan back so you guys can see the entirety of this table So there you have it. It turned out, as you guys, it turned out beautiful. I'm going to show you guys a couple of snapshots and still shots of the desserts, the cake. I mean, the cake was just impeccable. I love the flour and the beading, the cookies. Everything was so detailed. And I love the little tub thing she has going on there on the cookies. The cake pops had crosses and flowers as well. Then we had little miniature cookies with flowers and then the cupcakes. You guys remember those gold cupcake wrappers that I got a while back um, during one of those mini hauls that I did at JCPenney. I got a lot of Martha Stewart party stuff. They have that stuff now at Tuesday morning. I've seen it in Tuesday morning. So if you have a Tuesday morning and you need some really cute party things, um, step out and take a look at that. I also got the little joy sign. You guys probably remember that from my um, December, my winter wonderland white Christmas tablescape. So I added that in there. And so, I mean, it was just absolutely beautiful. The dedication ceremony was beautiful. It was touching. Um, it was one that I will personally remember forever. And the celebration afterwards, a lot of time for family and friends to meet and greet with my beautiful niece and her parents and me. And, you know, I want to, you know, stress this out here. I know that we all, I have, you know, lots of viewers and you all have different beliefs and you, we all have different beliefs and concerning baby dedications or christenings or baptisms or first communion. And I'm not trying to impose my beliefs on you, but rather show you a way to celebrate in whatever you believe. Um, 
it is just an amazing time to just kind of celebrate and remember, you know, this monumental moment in the life of your child. I hope that something in this video inspires you to celebrate and to give back to the Lord the amazing gift that he has blessed you with. I, again, this was just a very, very special time. It was just a very meaningful time for all of us, and we will remember this for Ever. And I want to thank my cake baker, Rachel, for doing an amazing job on the desserts. I mean, everything turned out so, so beautiful. I couldn't have asked for anything more. Um, if you haven't already, I would like to encourage you, you know, again, to do something for your child. Now, I've already decided that 2016 is going to be ridiculously amazing. So we're going to switch gears here. I, I'm really excited about the things that are going forth on my channel this year. So I'd like to encourage you to like if you haven't liked already. Comment, subscribe, and thumbs up this video. And follow us at Living Luxuriously for Less on Facebook and Instagram. And Living Lux for less on twitter and periscope we have some amazing things coming forth stay tuned for some new announcements that i'm going to have this week i do have a new planning video that's coming out um for the new year and you know how to goal set and do some planning so stay tuned for that and until next time it's melanie we're living luxuriously for less bye bye